All right, we're gonna put the new 10 jam preload chair in the pool and show you how it works. In this pool depth that we're in today, when I measure the pool at the back of the coping, it's 10 inches. So if you watch our videos, you wanna measure the pool where the front of the chair is gonna sit. So in this case, the front of the chair is gonna be out in this range and I'm right at 11 inches. So keep that in mind when you're picking pool products that you have to pick a product that's gonna work in the area you're gonna set it. Also again, think about your active pool depth. People in the pool, waves in the pool, that all increases that active depth. But we're gonna put free load, the new chair free load in the pool, and this chair works up to 11 inch water depth. So this is the maximum depth for the free load chair today. Now on free load, you're gonna see on the back, we have this speed fill vacuum valve system. What that's gonna do is when I set the front of the chair in the water, you'll see these holes on the bottom of the leg. So you just gotta kinda hold it under water and the water is going to be working its way into the chair. As it's doing that, the air is coming out of these holes and eventually the last hole it's going to come out of is this valve. So let's just go through that. And because we're in 11 inch water depth, we want to make sure we're getting water all the way into the front of this chair and up the backrest. So just kind of get a little pressure to hold it down. And eventually just push it under. Then you'll see that the air just moving out of, out of the legs. So when that air is done moving out of the legs, the bubbles will stop. The bubbles will stop, and then the chair is full and we can put it on the shelf. Just kind of wait it out. With other people's products, they often have screw plugs or small holes. They have to trap the water inside. This one, the water is just gonna flow inside like it is, and then we'll show you how easy it is to empty. So I can feel it's almost full. There it is. So now I'm gonna keep these holes underneath the water line. As long as I keep the legs underneath the water line, this chair retains the water inside of it. You can kind of pick it up and put it where you want on the sun shelf. And now you can see 11 inch water depth, but this thing's solid at the front. So that's how easy it is to fill it. Now when it's time to empty free low, just get those front legs above the water line. That breaks that vacuum seal. Now the chair is going to empty itself, so just kind of wait it out. Let the water do its thing, or you're going to be feeling like you're lifting all this water weight. So just don't be in a hurry. Let the chair do its thing. In a minute, when enough water comes out of it, I'll show you kind of how I can flip it over. But you can also, whoop, you can go this way with it. There's a handle on the back. And if I come over and set it on the pool, you can just rest it there and let the water drain into the pool. So just wait it out. Once it's done, this chair will be completely empty of water. Almost there. and it's empty. So now I can lift free low. It's only 20 pounds when it's empty. So super easy to use that way. Now, back here behind me, I have an optional vacuum pump. Now what this pump does, it allows you to put free low in the water and then you can put the end of the pump into the valve and then you can use the pump to actually like pull water in through the legs when it's sitting on the shelf. If I start pumping, after a while, it's going to like top off the chair. So it's going to draw that water up. Eventually water comes out of the spigot and the chair is full that way as well. And that's it.